Hey there and welcome back to Sim Sunday. My name is Pete, still with a slightly raspy voice, but I think we can make this work. In today's episode we will not do any building and instead get two full days of gameplay behind us. So let's get to it. Up first is Patrick, the youngest in the household, and he will start his day with a nice waffle breakfast. Just a few moments later we have Paul getting up and his carpool will arrive in 45 minutes already. Still we can also have him grab some waffles for breakfast and as he sits down Patrick gets back up and goes for a shower. And now with his carpool already waiting and to make sure that we're absolutely on time, let's actually use the teleportation pad to teleport Paul to work. Wonderful, that has worked nicely. I think we should use that more often. And at work we will work hard, but we will likely not get a promotion today. Nonetheless, we should boost our work performance. Back with Patrick, we can spend about half an hour on a school opportunity and start reading a book for that. Alright, we spend about an hour on that. The school boss is already waiting for half an hour, but let's completely ignore that and also use the teleportation pad. Lovely, and Patrick will stick to normal effort. With everyone out of the house, Ayesha gets up, and Pete does as well. Ayesha will grab breakfast, and Pete will grab the mail. With Pete we can now start to work on an opportunity, and that is to work out three times, 30 minutes each in three different ways, and we'll start with the TV. Alright, Ayesha has finished her breakfast, she will now clean up, and then use her day off to collect. With Pete we can then also stop working out with the TV and go for a nice jog. And 30 minutes later we can cancel that again, go over to the swimming pool, hop in and swim for a while, and then collect 300 simoleons as a reward for completing the opportunity. Speaking of simoleons, we do have a lot of those. So let's spend a few on investments and become a partner at the local business office. Alright, 18,000 simoleons less, I think we can afford that. And actually we can afford even more as we can now buy out a property that we are already partnered with. Wonderful, that's another 35,000 simoleons spent, but we are now owners of the criminal warehouse. Pete can now return home to take a shower and we can skip ahead to the workday of Paul. Like I said earlier, he has not earned himself a promotion just yet, but we made 300 simoleons. And at school we can see Patrick, who I would like to get an honor roll for a few days this time. And his grades are already at B, so a bit more homework and a bit more effort and we should reach that. And back at home we have Pete now hopping under the shower, while Paul does some more journalism work. For some reason I could not write a story from the interview we did last time, so we now have to switch to a dirty approach. After school Patrick will now spend a bit of time fishing, while back at home Pete has taken a shower and will now get back to his usual activity and work from home. While Paul is still busy digging through the trash we can already sell a few things he's found. Sometimes a few very valuable items pop up. For this round though, I think that's it. So let's now send him home to a well-deserved shower. And for some reason we have someone sitting here, I think that's a friend of Patrick's. Well, he won't do any harm, so let's leave him be. Paul has finished his shower and is way too stressed out to write a story now, so let's calm his mood with a bit of painting. Okay, roughly 90 minutes later we can stop again and proceed to raise his fun bar in a much more effective way. And that is by playing computer games. Then we can switch over to Patrick, also have him stop fishing for the moment and have him continue to read the opportunity book for school. That should definitely help him get to honor roll. Then we get the info that there is an emergency at the hospital, so let's send the Yisha over there to take care of it. And we can do so by having her chat with her co-workers to raise the social bar. I'm sure that will solve all problems. Okay, back to Paul, we only have the option to write a negative story on Holly Alto. Had we done an interview, that would be different now. However, we don't have a particular interest in her, so let's stop playing computer games now and write a nasty story on her. 
All right, Ahisha has finished her emergency shift at the hospital and she will return home now. Back at home we can quickly do a slight rearrangement and that is to switch the bookshelf and the fireplace. That will move the fireplace closer to where Paul is working and that provides him with an additional positive moodlet. You can see it here, plus 10 mood from the cozy fire. Alright, and now Paul has finished writing that article. It won't exactly help his relationship with Holly Alto, but then again we don't really care about that. We can now send Paul over to the bathroom and sell the rest of the stuff from the trash can. We can also see that Ayesha has returned and is currently sending away stuff to be smelted or cut. And then Paul can begin to work on his charisma skill. We will need that soon and I would like to have a slight head start. Over at the lake, Patrick has long finished the opportunity book and he's currently doing his homework. However, with his curfew approaching, I think that's a task better suited to be done at home. After she has sent everything away, Ahisha will now work from home to make us some more money and Patrick can continue his homework. He will stop midway through, however, because he's getting hungry and we can use that as a good way to train his cooking skill further and have him prepare some ratatouille. And with another day of work coming up tomorrow, we can now stop the charisma training with Paul. Yes, he is getting quite hungry, but we can solve that tomorrow. For now, he should get a nice round of sleep. Then we can see that Patrick has improved his cooking skill to level 4, congratulations. And we can also see that Patrick has a potential lifetime wish coming up here. And since reaching level 10 of the cooking career is what I have planned with him anyway, yeah, let's actually go for that. Over with the Yisha, we can then quickly sell a few of the space rocks she collected. And then see Patrick grab a dish of ratatouille. We can put the rest in the fridge. Alright, time for Ayesha to make herself useful a bit. We can stop working from home, grab a nice amount of simoleons and while Patrick does the dishes, have her clean the kitchen counter. Patrick can then go straight to bed. I know we haven't done his homework yet, but we can either do that tomorrow or just say screw it, we are on a good way with him anyway. Ayesha can then also go to sleep and a while later we can also stop the computer work for Pete, grab another 4,500 simoleons, send him off to bed and skip ahead to the next morning. And up first is once again our aspiring illustrious author. He can start his day with a nice waffle breakfast and then spend the next hour until the couple arrives with painting. Now it's time for Ahisha to get up and go straight back to collecting. Her needs are all satisfied and we have a bit of time to kill before work. As Patrick gets up, we can also stop the painting process with Paul. The carpool is here, but we will once again respectfully ignore that and instead use the teleportation pad. Then with Patrick, we can begin the day with some gardening. That is the third skill we want to build with him. And at the moment, it is still not even at level 1. And then at last, it's also Pete who is awake and he will grab some breakfast first. Alright, that is all the harvesting done for Patrick and he can now teleport himself to school. I chose not to continue his homework. We will cash in the opportunity today and that will give him a nice boost to school performance. Because his social bar is approaching somewhat critical levels, Pete can now have a quick chat with the postman. In the meantime, we can quickly hop over to Ihisha at the beach, stop her collecting adventures for the moment and send her off to work to play golf. Then back to Pete who is now paying our bills and that quick chat has not really done anything for his social need. Lovely. A few seconds later we get an opportunity for Paul, write for the enemy, an article in exchange for some cash. If I remember correctly that is an opportunity that comes with a bit of a risk that might backfire on us in terms of career performance and I think let's accept it for now but we might skip it later. Then 876 simoleons to pay our bills and the few cut gems in the mail. While Pete makes his way back over to the computer to work from home again, we can quickly go to the inventory and sell those gems that we send away specifically for that purpose. And now there is not much else to do than to wait. We get interrupted by another opportunity for Paul. We can view a gallery to increase our painting skill and make the next painting even better. I think that's a no-brainer, thank you very much. Then, a few hours later, a decision with Ayesha. A hospital visitor wants to go on a date with Ayesha. I think we will have to respectfully decline that. And that also gives us a slight mood boost. 
All right, and now it is 2 p.m., the end of the workday for Ahisha and Paul, and we will stick with the latter, who has gotten himself a promotion. Paul is now a professional blogger, level 4 of the journalism career, and for that painting skill opportunity we just received, he will now turn around and go straight back into the building, because that's where the gallery is. Ahisha has also completed her day at work, all that without any major happenings, and now she will once again start to collect. Patrick has now finished a quick shower after school, and he has the wish to talk to Pete, who, if you remember, also has a slightly increased need for social interaction. So let's have him take a quick break from working and grab two and a half thousand simoleons, and then they can chat for a second. Lovely, that's already it. 150 lifetime happiness points for Patrick, who can now go over to the lake and fish. For some reason, Pete's social needs still hasn't increased, so maybe we have to initiate something with him. For the moment though, it's not yet critical, and we can get back to working. And while Patrick is fishing, we get the info that by visiting the gallery, Paul has improved his painting skill to level 10. Congratulations, now we only have to complete the skill challenges, and that would be the painting skill complete. So let's get right back to work on that and finish the painting here. Now, after Patrick has spent a bit of time fishing, we can actually have him stop that and send him over to the grocery store. I said earlier his gardening skill is lacking behind a bit, so in the grocery store we will buy an apple and some grapes, because we can plant those in the garden back at home. First though, Paul finishes his painting. No masterpiece, and not even a brilliant one, so let's sell it and have him grab something to eat. Then we can jump over to Patrick, who has just planted an apple tree, and will now plant the grapes. And now that he has done that, and he is still not at level 1 of the gardening skill, let's have him do his homework, this time for real though. Now with Paul, I think there is one lifetime reward we should get now. I was saving for another one, but as he is struggling a bit in the journalism career, let's grab Multitasker and help him out a bit. Then, after doing the dishes, he can use his phone and call one of his somewhat close friends. We want Domingo to come over to conduct an interview with him. In the time it takes Domingo to get here, we can start a new painting. Or not, maybe Domingo also has the teleporter at home. Anyway, we can start by schmoozing Domingo up a bit. And then begin the interview. And then, for some reason, the camera suddenly shifts. Our dear founder, the man who has lived happily for 35 and a half episodes, finally gets a visit from the Grim Reaper, and he will now leave us once and for all. Pete complete, it was a pleasure. Alright, sadness, the overwhelming emotion for everyone here. Well, I guess we just have to continue on. And that means Paul will continue that interview, Ayesha will continue to send away gems and metals, and Patrick will begin with another bait book. Ayesha can then take the place of her husband and also begin to work from home, and we can quickly switch to build mode, where I have made a little resting place for our family's founder. Nothing major yet, I had to do this more or less on the fly, but I promise we will build something more appropriate. Alright, seems like the interview is complete, and that means we can now use the computer to write a positive story on Domingo. 
All right, Patrick has finished his bait book, and with his hunger need rising, I think we can send him over to the kitchen once more, where he can cook a nice meal. I know we have something in the fridge, but eating that won't do any good for his cooking skill. Okay then, time for a heartbroken Aisha to stop working from home. We make one and a half thousand simoleons and we can now send her off to bed. Then jump over to Patrick, who has just finished that meal. And actually, with the time ticking on, let's put that in the fridge and also send him off to bed. And just in time, Paul also completes his article, which means off to bed he goes as well. And we can end today's episode on a bit of a sad note and mourn the loss of Pete complete. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.